Oh my goodness, I will make thousands. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, are you ready for this? This shopping spree, I don't even know what to call it. This has been my best bins pickup ever. I cannot even believe what I found. Wait until you guys see this. This first item I grabbed right here is just a rubber wood mounted stamp. Some of those can go for big money. Most of them are bread and butter, but if I'm at the Goodwill bins and there's a cute one, I will definitely pick it up. All right, so there's gonna be a lot of digging and a lot of things that I will put in my cart and then later on I will throw back. So if I do not pop up a screen share, it means I threw it back or I have not listed it yet. Um, I am a little behind on listing because um, I started selling on Whatnot. And if you're not following me over there, there is a link down below in the description. And um, if you join with that link, you can get $15 to shop. Uh, I'm thinking about, and I wanna hear your feedback because a lot of you guys like these types of videos. What would you think about me doing a Goodwill Bins video and then bringing everything I bought to Whatnot for a show? Should I do it? Something I've been thinking about, but I don't know. I have such a huge money pile. I'm getting ready to start my vintage crafters haul. Oh my goodness, that'll probably take me five to 10 shows, but I can definitely mix it up and don't have to do all of those in a row. Look at this beautiful necklace. I haven't decided if I'm gonna list this on eBay or if I'm gonna bring it to whatnot. Um, I definitely bought that. It was absolutely stunning. And I believe it said Japan. So not very often do I find uh, beautiful jewelry pieces in the Goodwill bins. I know it can happen, but that piece uh, definitely could have been broken, but it looked fantastic. All right, we are going to keep digging here. And let me know in the comments, do you have a Goodwill bins near you? Do you shop it? Do you love it? And you guys wait until you see what I find. I am going to make thousands of dollars. I've already sold some of the items and just wait. You just got to see it. I don't want to spoil it. It's just incredible. All right. So there's a lot of digging in this video and I'm leaving the footage in. Those were, um, I think, counters or little uh, manipulatives, but I don't think I ended up buying them. I think I threw them back. Those were game pieces. I do pick up game pieces from time to time, but I did throw those back also. It really just depends on the game. Uh, if you can find a vintage game or something that you are familiar with that you've sold before, uh, that you can do multi-quantity on, that really helps. So those were sun catchers, I think. I went ahead and left those behind as well. So tell me, do you guys look in sunglass cases? I always look in sunglass cases. Love, love, love finding glasses. Um, I actually found a nice little bolo at the, the last time I went. So you guys will see what I found in a future video. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe to the channel. And um, I try to put out a Goodwill Bins video once a week, but sometimes it's once every two weeks. It just depends how quickly I can list because I do like to pop up screenshots of how I list everything. And again, I have just been crazy busy, but I've got lots of Bolo content on the channel. What do you guys think about this little purse? I think it was damaged and that's why I left it behind, but otherwise it was really, really cute. All right, let's see what else do we find here. What is your favorite thing to find? Or better yet, what is the best thing you have ever found at the bins? What's your best score? All right, we're going to keep digging. I can't wait for you guys to see what I find. Oh my goodness. Wow. Best day ever at the bins. I didn't even know what I had 
at first. And we'll talk about that more. I want to talk about it right now, but I can't. I just can't. I got to make you guys wait. Uh, Would you have picked up the emoji plush? (laughs) The poop, the rainbow poop emoji. All right. This was kind of cute. Anybody sell cloth plush books? There was lots of stuff. Let me know in the comments if you see something that I passed. This is one thing I like to do on my channel. Um, If you see something that you would have picked up, you can timestamp it. And what that means is put in the time that you saw it down in the comments. And that way people can go back and they can learn. So you can say, oh my goodness, you missed this item at 9 minutes and 22 seconds. And then we can all go look and learn about the different bolos. It helps me learn and it helps everybody watching learn. So definitely, definitely do that. I'm not offended by that in any way. We all source differently. That was a Paw Patrol pup. I always pick those up. Um, I will put them in small lots and um, Paw Patrol, PJ Masks. There's lots of different things. Always open the bags. I can't remember what was in that one. Um, I did put it in my cart, but I don't, I either haven't listed it or I put it back. I'm not sure. So I have bags and bags and bags of stuff. I'm so behind on listing, but I noticed that I had quite a few items already listed from this video. So I'm thinking that um, at least one bag of stuff is listed. Uh, that was a Yeti, but after I looked at it, there was some chipping on the paint. So I went ahead and put that back. But Yeah, I love Yeti cups. I use them myself, so um, definitely a pickup if I find a Yeti. There was actually a Yeti I found a while back, and it was one of the smaller coffee mugs, and I was going to list it, and I showed it to my husband, and he's like, "Um, I would like to keep that. (laughs) Here's a little fire truck puzzle. Super cute, but really big and um, bulky. Now, these right here are called mini brands. And I sold some mini brands Q-tips, I think for like $20. It was one little Q-tip. So they're meant to, they're like little minis of bigger products, like bigger toys, if that makes sense. And they're blind bags. And some of them can go for big money. That one was a Ninja Turtle, I think. I haven't got it listed yet. I think I found another little baggie full also, which is somewhere. Um, And I will list those as soon as I find them. Not sure which ones I have in there. Um, They do vary. I have other ones listed currently in my eBay store that are um, in small lots. Um, I basically picked out the ones that went for the higher dollar. Like there's some mayonnaise that does really well. Here's the other ones I picked up. And I have not researched those yet. So they will eventually be in my store, but they are not in my store yet. Um, I forget what those things are called. They're like little bracelets. But toys, I pick up tons and tons of toys and I just put them in small lots. Sometimes I make toy boxes. A lot of times I sell them individually. But I am definitely one of those people that dig to the bottom of the bins and pull out all of the great toys that everyone misses. Crayons, pencils, I pick those up and I donate those. Um, I, I know I put this in my cart, but I can't remember if I threw it back or not. Um, it's either in a bag or I threw it back. I cannot recall. I did get this. This was interesting. Um, the thrifty pickle thrifter, uh, talked about something that she was selling for big money. It was in a video I watched or a video that she sent me. And I can't remember if it was that style of video of DVD, or was it a CD? I don't know what it was, but I ended up buying it and it comped out okay, but I'm not sure if that's what she was selling. So definitely check out her channel. She has incredible content. She uh, mainly sells jewelry. I mean, she is a mega bolo finder, but she, she specializes in jewelry, but she is very talented in reselling in general and her what sold videos are incredible. Let me know if you guys would have picked up all these stamps. I feel like they're kind of heavy. So unless they're something special or, you know, I I wasn't sure. I almost grabbed this, but um, I think it was Mega Blocks. If it would have been Lego, I definitely would have grabbed it. I did put it in my cart, but I ended up throwing it back. 
any Legos, whether they're uh, just little pieces in the bottom of the bins, I am always grabbing the Legos. Those foam pieces right there, those are good for shipping. Um, if you can get them for a good price, maybe they'll work with you. If you can get like a whole bunch of them, you can use them as padding. All right, we're just digging away. Um, so right now it's been about, this will be week three that I have not gone to the Goodwill bins. And again, that's because I'm focusing on selling stuff right now. I need to list and sell. And um, I got to tell you, like I'm watching this video and I'm like, I just need to go. I need to go. And I'm like, what do I have to do tomorrow? But anything. Uh, but anyway, that was a PJ mask. Always pick up those. Um, I've been working on my taxes this week and I am one of those where I just put everything in a drawer and I save it until the end of the year and then I have to do it all at once. I literally have spent two entire days working on sorting and logging all of my tax stuff. Anybody else working on taxes, let me know in the comments and how long does it take you? All right, is anybody seeing anything that they would have picked up that I missed? Here's some pencils. If they would have been in the case, I definitely would have grabbed those. I probably should have grabbed them anyway and just donated them. I mean, those are something that um, definitely can be used and are needed. So let me know if there's something that you pick up from the Goodwill bins that you donate. I know that um, a rural squirrel over um, on her YouTube channel, she does Goodwill bins videos and that is about all she does over there and she is incredible. Um, that's her main focus of the channel and she does a lot of collaboration videos with other YouTubers and they have challenges and it's just a super entertaining, fun way to learn. So definitely check her out. Um, but I know she buys the diapers and she donates them. So if there's something that you buy from the Goodwill bins that you donate, let me know down in the comments. All right, we're going to keep on digging. How many people are yelling at the camera like you missed it or the TV or your phone or whatever you're watching? Ooh, always look in everything. You just never know. And I'm going to show you a great example of always look in everything because I'm guessing probably, I don't know, I don't know how many people were in the bin before me, but I wasn't the first one in the bin. They all looked over this item that I am going to sell for thousands of dollars because they didn't look inside. And it happens all the time. And if you go to my Goodwill bins, just remember, don't look inside anything. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know there's people watching that go to the same bins as me, so that's a total joke. You guys are awesome. All right. It's so fun when I see um, my viewers there. If anybody ever sees me there, feel free to say hello because um, I don't know you, but you know me. And you can just say, hey, Bolo Buddies, or you can say, hey, Courtney. Either one is completely fine. But I have uh, met a lot of great people that know me from the channel, and we actually hang out and shop together at the bins. It's super fun. I love it. All right, I put that in my cart, but I think I put it back. And I'm thinking I probably should have got it. What would you guys have done? Should I pick that up or was it a good pass? Little teddy bear. I love selling plush if you're new here. Um, toys, plush, vintage Christmas. I love all of those things. But one big problem that I have with the Goodwill bins is I come in and I want to save everything, and I always leave with a cart that is so full, and I never get to everything. It's just too much. Um, so that's why I'm kind of thinking that I may do toys um, in the future on Whatnot. If you follow me on Whatnot and you would like to see toys, let me know down in the comments. Your feedback would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys are looking for another place to sell, another platform, um, I do have a referral link down below. It's a seller's link to sell on whatnot. And if you click on that, it will tell them that I referred you and you may get accepted quicker. So um, that link is down below also. And you guys can let me know if you have any questions about it. You may be watching this for the first time and have never heard of whatnot. 
Uh, my channel focuses on bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. And I do a ton of what sold videos. So I show you what I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And I also show you what other people, uh, members of my channel and members of my Facebook group, things that they sell. And it is an incredible way to learn. So definitely check out some of my other videos. Um, a lot of people just like the Goodwill Benz videos, and that's fine. But uh, what solds are very educational. Okay, right here. If these would have been in good condition, these are a major bolo. They are called Twin Bead. And here are some that are new in the package. Look at the prices that these go for. They're goodie brand, and if you ever see them, definitely pick them up. Mine are not in great condition. The elastic is kind of not good, but I figure maybe somebody can craft with them, and it's a huge lot. So I went ahead and bought those, and I do have them listed in my eBay store. I'm going to see if somebody wants to pick that up. I do pick up this mug here in a minute, and I'm wondering if I should have grabbed it. Um, I have sold wood mugs before, um, but I did not grab it. I don't remember what's in that. I think I put it back. Okay. All right. Are you guys seeing anything that I'm missing? Let me know. Oh, another great channel to check out is uh, Dumpster Diva. She does Goodwill Ben's videos and she is awesome. So check her out and I will link these channels down in the description of the video. And later on in the video, you are gonna see Dad Planet. And this is actually him right now that I'm talking to and I'm telling him about the twin beads. I'm like, okay, you need to look for this. And he's never heard of them. And I'm just educating him a little bit. So um, he just happened to be there that day. We didn't do a collaboration video. Sometimes we do that when we run into each other there, but we did not do one today uh, during this show. So definitely follow Dad Planet, and I need to get in touch with him and schedule another collaboration video because that's kind of like a little contest where, you know, we both share a video on the same day, and then you guys go and watch both, and you kind of decide who had the better haul. Now, one thing is, is Dad Planet more sources clothing, and I'm more hard goods. We source very, very differently, so you will definitely learn different things from each of our channels. So be sure to subscribe to him as well. So I'm giving you lots of new people to subscribe to. And these are more people that do Goodwill Bins videos. There's lots and lots of channels that I follow that do what solds and that teach you how to sell on platforms. And you will see those in my other videos. I can't go into everyone right now, but uh, Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger, she just put out a Goodwill Bins video. She hasn't done one in a while. Um, you can check her out also. She has an awesome educational channel, but she'll throw in some Goodwill Bins here and there. I'm like, you got to do more Goodwill Bins videos. They're super fun. Everybody loves them. What is your favorite video that I do? Um, if you only watch my Goodwill Benz videos, let me know that down in the comments. I am kind of curious. I do think I have a following for this type of video and I would love your feedback. I did pick this up. I did comp it out and I did put it back. It did not comp out high enough for me. I can't remember what it comped out at, but um, based on the weight, I just decided to leave it behind. I'm showing you guys all of the digging. A lot of times I cut a lot of this out, but a lot of you have told me that you like longer videos and you like to watch me dig so you can tell me what I missed. So this video, I am gonna leave some of the extra in. This is a Mickey Mouse, but he's got a bad eye there, poor little guy. Wonder what happened to him. Dinosaurs, I think that, was that a Treasure X? Maybe I should have picked that up. There's been a few Treasure X that I have picked up that have sold really quickly. Um, kind of a random toy um, that kind of surprises me that it was selling so quickly. Not for big money, definitely a bread and butter. Domino Rally, look at that. Would you have picked it up or left it behind? It kind of looks like it was uh, never used. All right. We are at the end of this tote, tote, 
at the end of this bin here. I just love digging. It's so therapeutic. Let me know if you think going to the Goodwill bins is therapeutic. Like, do you leave there and you just feel relaxed and like, oh, that was so fun. Like, I just love the Goodwill bins. I miss it when I don't go. I could go every day. Literally, I feel like I could go every day and I would be like completely content. I don't think I would ever get bored. <laughs> Where is your favorite place to source? I'm doing a lot of extra talking today because I haven't really picked up a whole lot to sell. I do pick up new old stock items. That one I ended up leaving behind because it kind of looked just like a maybe a dollar store item. But um, if it's new old stock, got the original packaging, even if it's a bread and butter, I'll definitely pick it up because those items do sell. Um, I picked up a Dremel and it was new old stock. And I also picked up like some drill bits that were new old stock and both the items sold. So I was like, all right, you know, seven to nine dollars, nothing big, but definitely, you know, sold pretty quickly and I didn't have to pay much for it. My bins are $1.89 a pound and then 59 cents a pound for media and books. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> look, look at that rug. So tell me down in the comments, what do you guys source? When you go to the bins, what are you looking for? Are you in the clothing? Because you're not going to like my video because I try to stay away from the clothing. I am not a big fan of clothing. But now that I'm doing more whatnot, I may head over to the clothing. Right here, I don't know why I didn't pick this up. Look how cool this is. I probably could have got 50 or 60 bucks out of that. Um, I just sold one recently, and I don't know why I left it behind. Would you have picked up the little suitcase? Maybe there was something wrong with it. I, I'm just really surprised that I left that behind. I'm not a big fan of shipping big things, so um, that wasn't super big, but I left it behind. It might have been a mess up. You might That might be what you guys put down in the comments that I missed. All right. Let's keep looking here. Are you guys anticipating what I bought that I'm going to sell for thousands? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I am so excited. That is from one of those Disney movies and probably could have sold it, probably would have done well on um, Poshmark, but um, it was a bigger item and I didn't really feel like trying to find a box for it. So I start my items on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. I use a cross listing service, it's called List Perfectly, to cross post my items. And you can either list into their catalog or you can just go directly from the platform you're on to the other platforms. It's completely up to you. I do have a demo video down in the description. If you guys wanna check out how that works, I show you both ways. Um, so there's a link to the tutorial, tutorial or demo, whatever you wanna call it but you can actually see me using the product, which I think is really important. It is a subscription, you pay by the month, but it is worth every penny. I've been using it since 2019 and I love it. And um, I always say that more platforms is more items on your, more eyes on your items, which leads to more money. So uh, if you decide you wanna try it after you watch that video, you can get 30% off your first month with referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. And that is called List Perfectly. I did pick up this Starbucks mug. Um, it's really cool. It like goes from red to green. Um, hasn't sold yet. It's hanging out in my eBay store and there was no straw. So it would have been nice if there was a straw, but I did end up grabbing that. Some Starbucks can do really well. I think I grabbed that little toy too, but I'm not sure what that was. We got a little instrument here. Would you guys have grabbed the instrument? It looks vintage. All right. We're just going to keep digging here until we dig for the treasure. Oh, the treasure. The best treasure ever. I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm handing something off to someone. I have no idea who. A little cow. I pick up anything that's Fisher Price Little People. I like selling those. 
A lot of times I will lot them up. The little nativity figures do really great. Um, there's certain ones that um, they have a different shape on the bottom. They're called zoo talkers and they go with a playset, and those will go for a little more. That's definitely one to be on the lookout for. And some days my Goodwill bins has loads of plush. You should definitely go check out um, the Goodwill bins video that I did that says Grail. Oh my goodness, you guys are not going to believe the plush that I pulled out of the Goodwill bins. Um, those earrings, I did grab those earrings. They just look like children's earrings, but they were on the original cards. I haven't done anything with them yet. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, they seem like they're just inexpensive um, little kid's earrings, but I don't know. Maybe I'll sell them in a bundle. They're sitting to the side. I might bring them to whatnot and sell them in a lot. I'm not sure. That was a punch. And a lot of times I will pick up those punches. I'm not sure why I left that one behind. Um, Martha Stewart is a great brand to pick up. If you can find her punches, they're great. Creative Memories is a great brand. Not necessarily the punches, but um, just Creative Memories in general can be a great bolo. Um, a lot of times it's bread and butter, but the sell-through rate is awesome. I just sell that stuff so fast. Lucite Candle, bam. Um, I knew that was a bolo and I told dad plan it because like I said, he was there. I'm like, look what I found. And he did not know about the Lucite candles. So I taught him about Lucite candles. If you guys don't know about those, they have like a glitter flake. I ended up taking that to whatnot and Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger bought that from me. Um, so again, I will link her channel down in the description. I talked about her earlier. She is an incredible bolo finder, but those Lucite candles are definitely a bolo. I can't remember what it sold for on whatnot, but I did sell, um, I found two other ones at a thrift store and they were smaller versions and I sold those on whatnot also. And I think those went in for like, oh, maybe close to $40. They're definitely a bolo, Lucite candles, especially if you can find a pair. If you can find more than two, that's even better. I only found one, but I was thrilled to have found that. So could I have put the Lucite candle on eBay? Yes, but what I'm trying to do is bring really cool items to whatnot. And I was doing a Christmas, a vintage Christmas show. So I was like, this is perfect for my Christmas show. And it worked out. I did really well with that item. Let me know in the comments if you have ever sold Lucite candles. Look at that. What is that? What is that? <laughs> I'm watching it back and I'm like, Huh, I don't remember that. All right. I'm actually um, sitting here doing this voiceover, and I've got Donatella Bottolino's uh, YouTube channel playing, and she's showing jewelry, and I'm trying not to pay attention to the jewelry because she's showing beautiful stuff. Um, she has selling events on her channel, and if you're not following her, definitely go and sub her up, or I will link her down below. She sells incredible stuff, and a lot of times... She sells in bulk to resellers. That's mostly what she does. And Auctions for You also is another amazing channel that does the same thing. So check them both out. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, this is a long video. I'm losing my voice. I don't know what that was. Okay, I think I picked these up. I think they're, it's like a necklace and then like, uh, what do you call them? Teething beads. And I am picking up all the ducks. Um, I'm going to send those over to Mountain Man Treasure as soon as I have a box full because he sells those ducks on his channel. And I want to say they go to like what the proceeds go to some charity. I can't remember how, what it all. I can't remember the details, but he does something with ducks. So I've been searching the bins for rubber ducks to send to Mountain Man Treasure and definitely sub him up down below. Troy's fantastic. Lots of great channels that I've mentioned. Um, you guys will definitely love them all. So um, sub them up. They'll be down below. All right. What else do we have here? Okay. This right here, I believe I, I picked this up. I can't remember if I just took the furniture or if I took the whole house. I think I bought the whole house. 
But you know what? I haven't listed it yet, so I think it's somewhere in a bag. But that was Peppa the Pig, and I will pick up Peppa the Pig, Peppa the Pig figures and toys. I did pick up this. I it was incomplete, so I just grabbed the fish, and I will sell the fish as replacements. That's another thing that is lingering in a bag somewhere, and as soon as I find it, I will get those listed. I may have to come back to this video and look at this uh, container to remember which, um, I think it's Fisher Price. But yes, I like to do replacements. Yes, I know they're bread and butter. I sell a lot of bread and butter. I consider uh, bread and butter items that are easier to find that I sell for $35 or less. That's what, if you see bread and butter in my title on my what sold video, that's what I'm sharing with you. So, you know, 35 bucks is still good, but I'll sell a lot of items for $10, $15 and all of those items add up. I think it was the Rebel Reseller. Um, I know it was the Rebel Reseller, but I'm trying to recall what exactly she said. I think it was her bread and butter items, like her $10 or less items that paid her mortgage every month. And she talked about it in one of her videos, but it's been a while ago. Definitely sub up the Rebel Reseller. She specializes in plush, but she is a bolo finder. All right, you see me grabbing all these toys, just grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. I don't know what that went to. I'm surprised I didn't put that in my cart. What am I doing? I'm like, here's the floor, everyone. All right. This is a long one. Oh, my goodness. I'm making you guys wait so long to see this $1,000 bolo. Can you believe how long I'm making you wait? This is awful. It's torture. This is torture. I don't know what that was. I was intrigued for a minute. All right. A paintbrush. So much stuff that just gets thrown out. Oh, wow. It's incredible, right? I can't remember if I grabbed those or not. I know sometimes those that are discontinued, some of those can do pretty well. The new old stock. Oh, right there. I just did that so I could find it later. I think I threw that back in and then just took the fish, which I have not listed yet. All right. I feel like we should be getting close. Oh, I found another huge money bolo and another trip. That one's going to be in a future video. <gasps> it already sold. I'm so excited. It sold for $275. So that will be in a future Goodwill Bins video. Big money bolo. I, I, I found it and I was like, are you kidding me? I can't believe I just found this. I knew it would sell um, for a lot of money and I knew it would sell pretty quickly. So that was one of the better things that I've also found at the Goodwill Bins. That was cute, but I think I ended up putting that back. All right. What's in there? Always look in the bags. Always. All right. Oh my goodness. Eek. Oh, there's another duck. <laughs> So funny. I like treasure hunt for ducks now. Okay, I did pick up this awesome spoon. And you can see how dirty it is. Um, or tarnished, I should say. I did clean that one up because it says spread the love on it. And it was uh, silver plated and it cleaned up beautifully. And it's a butter knife and it is so cute. And somebody is going to snag that up from my store. I just know it. It's so cute. But I got it all nice and um, nice and clean. I do pick up DVDs if they are new and sealed. Same with CDs. This is just a bread and butter, um, but it's sealed. So 59 cents a pound, easy to list, easy to ship. Definitely a just easy one. I'll definitely pick it up. Sealed is the key, even if it takes a long time to sell. Should I have got that little quilt? It's kind of cute. I think it was uh, probably modern. All right, we're going to keep digging. 
we've got to be getting close. That's an advent. I ended up putting that back, I think. I can't remember why, but certain advent calendars can go for crazy money. I do have a video on advent calendars to uh, bolo for. It's called a category video, which is where I pick a category and I basically do a deep research on it and I find all the bolos in that category. I have a whole playlist of those, so definitely check that out. It's how I learn and it's how I help others learn. So um, yeah, it's just another thing that I offer on the channel. Okay. Well, maybe we're not gonna get to it in this video. Just kidding. That right there, I think did something. I think you push that button and maybe, I don't know, maybe the snow floats around. Okay, I did pull these cards out of here. I have not done anything with them. I have no idea if they're a bolo or not, but I took the cards out and I threw the binder back in because I don't need the binder. All right, and the cards, they weighed like nothing. So got to look through those cards. I did pick up this little guy and I used Google Lens to figure out who he was. If you're not uh, familiar with Google Lens, it is a free app and you can take a picture of something and it will pull up the item and help you identify it. I put these in my cart, but I ended up uh, searching comps and I put those back. They were, I can't remember what they were, but um Comps were okay, but I was just kind of on the fence about it, so I left them behind. All right. We have these things right here were some sort of like car mat. So I took those over to um, Dad Planet, and he looked that up for me because I don't know anything about it. But here it is, you guys. Here is my $1,000 item. You're like, what? It's an envelope. Yes, it's an envelope. And we'll come back to that in just a minute. I actually found four envelopes. Everybody else passed them by. Here's Dad Planet. He's looking up those car mats for me. Um, they didn't really comp out very well for as heavy as they were, so I decided to leave those behind. But um, I figured he'd be the person to research it. I found this beautiful necklace. It's sterling silver in the original packaging. Look at this. All right, you see what that says? Stinky stickers. If you ever find stinky stickers, oh my goodness. Cha-ching, okay? These are scratch and sniff, you guys. And it, those are all scratch and sniff. I found hundreds. These are the ones that have already sold. Look at these prices. These are all the ones that are currently listed. I added it up. It's over $2,000 that I'm going to make on these scratch and sniff stickers. I also found three other envelopes full of stickers. Now, the other stickers are vintage. They are not scratch and sniff, but they will sell for a profit. I don't know how much yet. I haven't got all of those listed. I have listed some of them. There were some really cool unicorns that I have listed, um, but just, just incredible. But these scratch and sniff are the really old ones, and some of them are super hard to find. So if you want to rewind and look at those sold prices, crazy. And I will be patient. Um, I had somebody message me and they were kind of hateful with me about the price that I had on my stickers. And I'm like, that's okay. They don't know the sticker market. These are very, very collectible. Um, I mean, very collectible. And the ones that I have are super hard to find. A lot of these, um, I mean, they're originals. Imagine if I had the full sheet. Most of my sheets were cut and only had six to eight on them. And they're still going for crazy money. So um, if you don't know, scratch and sniff stickers are definitely a huge money bolo. So this is my best Goodwill bins find ever. And I found another one. I think four envelopes total. But when I saw stinky stickers, I was like, you got to be kidding me. And it was funny because I was like, I just found a bunch of stickers. 
And um, Dad Planet was like, did you find any stinky ones? And I'm like, I don't know, because I hadn't looked. I had just thrown them in my cart. I'm like, oh, stickers. I love stickers. I can sell stickers. And uh, sure enough, that whole envelope was full of vintage, trend, stinky stickers. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I'm super, super excited about it. I feel truly blessed to have found those and um, just a true blessing. I'm so excited. And they were easy to list and they're easy to ship. And I usually um, put them between two pieces of cardboard and bubble wrap. But first I put it in tissue paper. So I'm very, very careful about how I ship them because typically people buying those are collectors. And if you're going to ask, do they still have a scent? Most definitely, you can smell them. Uh, you don't even have to be super close to them and you can smell them for sure. So that was my $1,000 bolo. Okay, bolo buddies, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And be on the lookout for a video of the scratch and sniff on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.